Hello 29,000 subscribers and watchers. What's up? It's me, Vivs from Slidener here. Today, I'm going to talk about the theory behind packages in Java. In the next video, I will talk about code and how to make packages and do stuff with them. So the first question that you have as a beginner is what are packages? Packages are nothing but folders inside your Java code in which you can place classes together. Now, why would you do this? Just the same way you would organize music and pictures and movies on your PC. The same way you would organize class files in Java in different folders. In other words, there's going to be a group of classes placed within each folder. For example, package transportation can contain classes like airplane, train, rocket, car, boat, bike, etc. And of course, you can add a spaceship to that as well. Now, to make a class a part of the package, you have to use this statement which says package and transportation in our case. Now if you want to create a package say movies so you have to say package space movies and then a semicolon. Now if you notice the way things are written the package names are completely small case letters. You don't use caps lock anywhere when you're writing package names. Now the class must have its source code in the same directory as the other files that belong to that package again if some of the things look a bit fuzzy to you right now don't fret we will take a look at the code in the next video before we proceed ahead so it must be the first line of code that means package transportation must be the first line you can write comments before this line you can put white spaces or tabs or empty blank lines before this line but you cannot write any Java code or make any class or anything before this line. It has to be the very first line in your code. So importing a particular class. Now once declared that a class belongs to some package, the actual name of the class is treated as package name dot class name. In other words, transportation dot car, transportation dot bus, and that is the actual full qualified name of a particular class in Java. Like I said, transportation.car. So import them anywhere in your code. Import transportation.car. Now, this is not necessary if you're working within the same package. But when you move to a different package and you try to import, that is when this becomes unnecessary. Now, again, like I said, if you're not clear about how we are going to work with different packages, don't worry about it. We will take a look at the code. Now when you don't specify a package name, your class is going to be placed in the default package. So importing the whole package. Now you could simply avoid a lot of trouble and you could say something like import java.awt.star which is nothing but set of all the classes from the awt package like button, checkbox, radio buttons and so on. Now this, you can access every class within the package. AWT instead of writing import java.awt.graphics, awt.button and so on. So in other words, if you are importing say 20 classes from one package, you will have to write 20 separate statements like this one shown here, import this, import that to from the same package. Now that can be reduced by simply saying import java.awt.star which is one single statement that will get all the 20 classes inside. But as much as possible, try to write the 20 lines instead of writing the one single line because there are certain drawbacks to importing the whole package every time and we will take a look at those drawbacks very shortly in this video itself so here when you talk about the drawbacks importing the whole package causes the virtual machine to use extra ram to keep track of the names of all the elements within that package now this may be an issue if you're developing for a small device like blackberry or J2ME or Android itself which uses Java. So slows the system down slightly. Class collision can happen if there are. Now there is, well, this is one very fascinating question which most beginners have. What happens when there is a class whose name is same and it exists in two different packages? What do you do? Very simple. You just specify the perfect package name and then you take it inside your code. And we will take a look at this in an example in the upcoming video. Now package mytest.star and package awt.star both have a button class will cause a collision and for a web-based applet the browser has to load all the class files for that package 
if the contents are not known on the host. Now what this means basically is applets run inside your browser and if you're writing code that's gonna get all the class files by saying java.xyz.star then that is gonna take time to load all the class files inside your browser and that's gonna take loading time in other words. So how to use a class without importing? Classes in the same package can access each other without using any import statements. Now in other words if you can have the car class and the bus class in the same package then you can directly call or create objects of each other in different classes within that same package. You can avoid importing classes in all situations by using the full name of the class everywhere in code. Now again some of these points definitely need an example to work out and before I show you that you need to go through the theory of packages in this video. And of course once you see the example you can come back to this video and learn things better. So code organization without packages. Now packages are used to organize related classes like I said. Now here are some of the standard packages that we have. Now java.applet.something contains classes to create and use applets. Then there is java.awt.star which lets you create a user interface on your desktop. Then there is java.io which contains the classes for doing input output which is reading from files, writing to files and stuff like that. Then there is java.net which contains classes for doing network operations like opening an HTTP page or HTTPS page stuff like that. Now there is java.util which contains data structures and collections and stuff which we'll take a look at in the upcoming videos. Last but not the least there is one thing that you have noticed you never have to import java.lang.string or anything like that because they are automatically imported for you. Here the math class and the system class are directly used without any import statements in your code. So with this we complete the basic theory behind packages. In the next video we are gonna delve into an example in NetBeans and take a look at how we can work with packages and we're gonna cover all the points that we discussed in this video. In the meantime if you guys do like what you saw Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Note, and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.